What up, what up? Gons here. In this video, I'm going to go over the new MIDI mapping feature in Serato Studio. This helps you map any button, any knob, um, any fader to the software so that you can easily maneuver it without having to use your mouse. So let's just get right into it. All right. So the MIDI controller I'm using is the MPD-218. Um, 16 pads. We got six knobs here that we can custom map how we want. So with this track, what I wanted to do is just make this more of a live performance type of thing. So I can just kind of showcase when I play out somewhere, I just want to be able to, you know, freak the beat a little bit. And so what I end up doing is the way you start it is you click on this new MIDI button that's here. You click that it's going to be purple now. Just like with the automation robot, when you click purple, it's activated. Look at it in that sense. So now anything that I can hover over that I can do an assignment to, you're going to get this little gray box. It's going to say click to assign a MIDI control. So as an example, I'm going to add an effect here and try to assign a control to that. So I'm going to pick an effect. Let's just go with, let's do... I'll do auto fader, like stutter fader. I'll do that effect. So there's two parameters that I want to adjust. I want to adjust this knob right here so I can have it to a knob. And also turning this on and off. So what I would do, click on the MIDI at the top. Go to that. Now you're going to get this prompt that says press or move the MIDI control you want to assign. So with this one, I'm just going to press this one here. That's going to give you a check mark, letting you know that you assigned that specific button to that specific section. If you have pads that light up, you can hit the L on your keyboard to have the lighting on or off. Say you messed up, all you have to do is hit enter. Click on, there we go. Now you click enter or return to unassign it. Just as important it is to Assign something, unassigning something, it's helpful as well. So, again, I'm going to assign it to that. And because I have an assignment to this fader on this one right here, I still want to do it to this one as well. So, this is where we run into one problem at first, but this is easily fixable. So, it says this mini control is already assigned to another function. I can either overwrite it, where now it's this one, or I can add an additional mapping. So I hit A. So now when I turn this knob, they both turn. Both of these knobs turn. Now when I'm done with all my MIDI assigning and all that, I click on MIDI, and now I'm out of that. And then I can see that the knobs are now turning. And I can turn this on and off with that. I have these on the left assigned to this bottom row down here so you can see them light up like that turn the knob there these both turn and then i also have the play right here set up so i have assignments here and here so what i end up doing is kind of picking a spot it's not too loud here so I essentially just map these two to these two right here. I wanted to do that so I can just kind of do this cool little start effect where I'm here. So, so I'm just doing a play to start and then stopping it with that. Then just realized it had an echo there, but it's okay. It happens. So let's turn that off there. So now I put these row with stems on the track. Excuse my dog barking back there. Got that there. So also when the track is playing, I get to stake elements out, which is nice.
And I just started at the beginning there. So it's just a cool kind of way that I map this to just have fun with this track and really mess with it instead of having to take it to Serato DJ and kind of do all the tinkering there. I can just do it here alongside myself, just make, making a track. So hopefully that helps out. Let me know if you have any other questions on mapping. Um, just know that when you save the project, the mapping will stay on there as well. So just know that it won't go away. Like when you open up this project, the mapping is going to still be there. So let me know if you got any questions. I'm gone. You guys have a great day. Peace out.